head off to a national show on the eastern side of Australia. I'm traveling from Perth to Sydney and I thought I'd show you some of the things that I'm taking with me. Now this is my little travel bag that I take. This is my grimy bag that I normally take to shows. It is just a little uh, you know, toiletry bag that I've got from Timu. I love Timu. Um, so it comes and you can hang it up if you want to and it's got a little bit of extra space. Now normally in that top pocket I have um, some items there that I am going to actually take out and put in my suitcase when I'm traveling because this goes in my carry-on because I don't want anything to spill. Um, but these, these go in my pack luggage because you can't take scissors in your carry-on. So my scissors, which I use for face shaping, um, my tweezers, which same thing, and of course my nail clippers to clip my cat's nails. So they're great things to take with you. Then, what else do I have in here? Now, normally this is just grooming stuff, but for the national show, I'm actually combining my grooming and my cleaning stuff in here so that I don't have to pack as much, um, take as many things. So I have some puppy pads. I use these on the bases of my trays, and then I put my cat bedding and litter tray in there because what I find is that when my cats go there in the morning if they do use a litter tray I don't pop the um, base of the cage in Australian people will know what I'm talking about when I say base of the cage I don't pop that in until after they've gone to the toilet because then they get they might get little wet feet and these are really good for that so that they don't have stinky feet so that's a couple of puppy pads that I will use for the show I'm taking two cats in here we have all of my secret ingredients that I have for my cats when I am um, I'm grooming them but I'll show you some cleaning things first in this pocket I have some nappy sacks nappy sacks are really good because they have little um, tie up tops so they're really good for if there's any accidents at the actual show itself for um, where we're staying it's better to have bigger bags so I have some bigger um, garbage bags here little um, kitchen tidy bags which are really good for when you're putting litter in you just put them in close and um, tie them up and just keep opening them and putting more litter in and then throwing it out so that during the night if the cats use a tray during the night you can seal it up pretty Pretty quick because the last thing you want to do is make your accommodation smell because that'll lead to problems later all right so what do we have in here um again for cleaning purposes we have some hand sanitizer if i need it i also have this is really good this is nil odor so nil odor is like little drops that smell sort of a vanilla -y smell and these are really good to um, use if you do have um, cats and you're keeping them in accommodation because it'll make it all smell nice and when you leave you put a couple of drops of this and it just makes it fresher for the people that come in to clean okay then we get into the actual cat stuff so i have my grooming products here i have a little packet which has cotton buds it has cotton pads it has big cotton pads little cotton pads so that's all i'm going to need to do some grooming before the show i have my um, eye powder which I just got this one from my friend Catherine um, she sells pink paw pal here in Perth um, and this is the um, white eye powder with the gorgeous little glittery thing on top this is I have a big one of these as well but this is my little travel one I've got and this is going to be really cute to take to shows so it's got the powder in there that I'm going to use for my eye powder I am traveling with a blue boy um, Herbert and I'm also traveling with bicolor female Daphne so this is what I'll probably use mostly for Daphne but it is really good for generally for even colored cats because you can um, just absorb the moisture around their eye area and give them a good clean with that so I like to use a powder and a liquid to do that so that the um, liquid does some cleaning and the powder does some absorbing and that's the really good thing about it when it absorbs the moisture around the eye area it's also absorbing some of the um, dirt and discoloration as well so there's that and of course the partner product for that is the liquid this is the pink power pore power eye and facial cleanser this is also good just for cleaning um, cleaning in general I might use this on their chins if they need it I'll just give them a wipe over on their face with that so that's really good and it's got a little hole in it and it just goes onto a cotton pad um, and I'll use this and then I'll put the powder on. And the other thing that comes with that is you get a little brush. So we'll put the um, liquid on first and then we'll use the powder. And the powder grabs to the damp hair once you've used the liquid. But this is to brush it right in. So when you want to um, really get it cleaned or um, cover up some staining, you can actually pack the powder into the hair with the brush. So that's really handy as well. I'm going to put that there so I don't lose it because it's super cute. And the cats will get that and eat it and play with it. What else do I have? I have some talcum powder in here. Now, just regular talcum powder is really good for absorbing things. So if your cat does actually soil itself and you do have to clean it, this will help you absorb the moisture um, after you've had to wash it out. Or it can also be used just to put on and then brush out to um, do a quick clean as well. So that's kind of like an emergency sort of thing that you have. Um, this powder here, I've shown people this before, it's not a secret. Um, this is my push-up powder, which is like a hair powder for people. Uh, you just need the tiniest amount, people. This is good for British short hairs, the tiniest amount. 
I've gone to shows, okay? I showed this to one of my friends and she went and got some and then the next show I was like, oh no, you sprinkled it on the cat. You don't sprinkle it on the cat. You put the tiniest amount on your hands, rub your hands together and then rub them over the cat. So there's a little secret for you. If you watch this video, you can now probably do better than me at shows because you'll have better coats. There you go. Alrighty, um, my, my comb that I use for my British short hairs, I always use one of these combs, which has got the long and the short teeth. They are amazing. Um, you can get them in pet shops, but you can also get a different version of these from Timu. I give these to my, the Timu version I give to my um, owners when they go home with their kittens. All right, um, this is, uh, oh, this is for cleanups as well. I really love the True Eco um, pet cleanup um, products. This is the dog and cat cleaner. I love having this because I can use this in the hotel or the accommodation we're staying in um, for cleanups. I can also use this to clean up litter trays in between if a cat uses a litter tray at a show. And if a cat pees and there's pee in the cage, once you've cleaned it up, if you give it a spray with this, it really does help to make it not um, upset anybody else in the show hall because your cat cage won't smell like pee anymore. Um, just be careful, some shows have rules about using sprays in the show hall. You might have to put some on your hands, for example, um, or on a cloth, um, but it is really good. And they make this little tiny size, which is a travel size, so it is just perfect for taking um, when you're traveling in accommodation. So that's the True Eco um, Dog and Cat Surface Cleaner. I love this product. Okay, what else do we have? Um, I've already shown you my nail loader. Uh, oh, um, this is my cat cologne. So this, um, my friend Charlotte, her sister, um, does, um, she has this brand of um, products. She has the um, cat colognes from Lady Bell. This one's called Sweet Cocoa and it smells like coconut. So I really like this one. This one is for when I have a stinky stud cat or just a stinky cat in general. And you can just, what I like to do, I don't spray it directly on the cat. I actually um, put it on my hands and wipe it over the cat. So that's Lady Bell. You can get that around the world, but if you want to get it um, in Australia, you want to get it from Danielle in Tasmania. Um, and she has Carbonell Couture. So Carbonell Couture sell um, these, these products and they have so many different fragrances to choose from. I chose coconut, but there's a whole heap of different ones. This is really good. Just if you have a cat that just suddenly does something and becomes stinky, maybe it pees and steps in its pee. Maybe it, um, I don't know, anything it does. But if it's had a bath, if, when you're traveling for shows, sometimes if you've got a cat that you need to bath, you have to bath them a little bit earlier than you normally would. So this is a really good thing that you can just use a product like this, like a perfume, and it really makes it clear that that cat's been clean and groomed. It's just a little secret trick because if a cat hits the show bench in front of a judge and it has a nice waff of coconut smell, um, that says I'm a clean cat, you know, so I like to do that. Uh, this is my pin brush. Oh, it's stuck in there. Um, here we go. This brush, I really like these ones. This was very cheap. I think it was from Kmart. Uh, I like the style of brush. It's just a finishing brush for my cat. So I will use the comb to get out most of the hair and then I'll finish them off with this one and it just gets out a little bit extra if you need to. It's also good to go backwards on a British short hair coat and just lift it up a little bit. So I like to do that as well. Then the last thing I'm gonna show you is something I'm not gonna show you, but this is my secret spray. So this is my secret spray that I've never told anybody what it is. It goes in an empty, uh, completely neutral container. I've decanted it from the bottle. No one knows what it is. And yeah, I'm just gonna put that back in there and keep you all wondering as to where I got that from. So there's my little um, thing. And the other thing I wanted to show you is just in the front here, I have my business cards. So I have my Cuddleton ones on the front of my Capri and Ruby in the back because that's cute. So there you go, my business cards are in there just in case I meet people that I want to give them to as well. So there is all of my stuff that I am taking to the national show for grooming and for cleanups while we are staying in accommodation. And I hope that was helpful to you. If you don't breed a British short hair, if you have something like a Persian, you're obviously going to be taking a massive big dryer and lots of shampoos. But for somebody with a short hair cat, that's about what you need, really. There you go. Okay, bye for now. And hey, while I have you, I just want to tell you, if you're interested in finding out more about cat breeding and traveling to shows and all things cat fancy, go and check out my podcast, which is the Cat Breeding for Beginners podcast. And I also have a website with articles and information on there as well. You can find me on Facebook. It's Cat Breeding for Beginners, and I will see you there.